what is going on guys welcome back to part two of the top five convenient tweaks video series i've been doing so again if you haven't seen the first one uh first of all go check it out i did the first series or first part of the top five convenient tweaks video um but this is just continued off that so this is another top five convenient tweaks so tweaks that are just going to make your phone a little bit easier to use um things move a little bit quicker or whatever um it's just gonna cut down time using your phone um so here it is this is the top five convenient tweaks for ios 13. all right so the first tweak we got is called quit all and it's pretty straightforward uh that it's all in the title what it does in your app switcher so say i have a bunch of apps open So I got all these apps open. Instead of having to go through on my app switcher and uh, swipe every single one away, I just have this clear option up top now. So I have all of these open. Instead of having to swipe them all, I just click clear, and then I have no apps left open. Um, so it's just, it's quick, it's convenient. It just gets rid, of all, gets rid of all your apps at once. It's just nice to have. So this one's called Quit All, and the repo for this one and all of the following tweaks will be in the description. So just check them out below, um, and you can get these added to your Cydia right away. The next one I got for you is called Small Siri. So everyone knows Siri is kind of annoying, takes up the entire screen. So this one allows you to activate Siri. And instead of it taking up the whole screen, it's just at the top. So there is a little bit of a weird UI bug where you see the words are cut off right there. Um, but it's still super convenient. It works as it should. And it just takes up part of the screen rather than the entire screen. And you can still do stuff. So if you use the Hey Siri command, you can still do stuff on your phone while she's listening to you. Um, so it's just, again, it's convenient. It makes things a little bit easier for you. And it's just that top part of the screen. And just to show you guys that it does work, uh, here's a quick demonstration just to show you that Siri is not affected by it at all. Open Twitter. So it still works as it should. Um, it just changes up how it looks so it doesn't take up your full screen. Next one we got is actually for Cydia specifically. Um, sometimes you're looking for different tweaks and some of them say they stopped being supported after iOS 12. Um, as we know, Cydia is not the best i mean city works well but you know there's there's better versions of it um so tweak compatible will tell you if a tweak is compatible with your device so all these green check marks right there so green check mark green check mark green check mark those are all telling you that that application does work perfectly for your device it's known to be tested and working for ios 13 in my case and then if it doesn't know you have that question mark right there so it makes it quick and easy if you're looking for stuff that you know isn't going to crash your device you know it's going to work with the operating system that you're on tweak compatible installs adds right to Cydia, and then automatically will scan that stuff for you and tell you it is community based so this is based on other people using it and saying that it works but i've never had any issues with it if it said it works it's been working for me so um, that one's called tweak compatible it is a super uh, super useful tool to have this next one is called YouTube Tools. I know a lot of people like this one because everybody uses YouTube, you're on YouTube right now. Um, but usually you need the premium version of YouTube, I believe it's called YouTube Red, in order to have, for one, no ads, and for two, um, the application will continue playing in the background. So if you use YouTube for music, you know that usually when you close YouTube, it stops playing that music. So YouTube Tools, it allows you to get the no ads as well as plays videos in the background. So if I go into YouTube right now and I click on whatever, and then when I close that out, that never stopped playing. So it's at 13 seconds right there, 15 seconds rather. background so pretty cool to have if you use it for music or if you just want whatever podcast anything running in the background youtube tools there are other ones out there that do work but some of the other ones i've seen i believe it's called sir tube is another one that i use cer tube it always displayed an ad of its own down bottom which was super annoying i'd rather have ads in the beginning of my videos than have an ad always on my youtube app um so youtube tools doesn't give you any dumb ads or anything like that it blocks all ads and then it also allows you to play in the background which is super nice to have all right and then the last one i got for you is called amandis so this one is for apple pay if you go into your tweak settings 
The only thing you can do for it is dark mode and translucent, which is how it was set up in the, uh, the beginning. I just left it like that. But then, like usual, if you hold it up to the card reader or if you double click your uh, lock button, it brings up your Apple Pay. You can swipe through your cards like this. So I just have the one card set up and then my car insurance and Dunkin' Donuts, stuff like that. Um, but everything in your wallet, you can swipe through just like this, super convenient. It reads your face and it gives you that status right there. Um, but it just takes up a tiny part of your screen. So instead of coming up, um, it's usually on the bottom for one and it usually takes up the full screen. So this is just super convenient. It makes it a lot smaller. It doesn't take everything up. You can just press the buttons or hold it up to the payment reader. Um, it reads your face and it just looks a lot cooler. It's a nice little uh, tweak to have. Um, it's convenient. It looks nicer. It's just a lot better. So that's the video for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate all the subscriptions we've been getting. Um, the tweak videos have been received very well and I appreciate that because that's different from what my channel usually puts out. So yeah, look for more jailbreak stuff coming in the near future as well as just other tech review videos and everything else that I usually do. Um, I'm gonna have a lot more stuff very soon. I really appreciate the support. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Peace.